Today, I'm gonna to be talking about something which if you are a vlogger and you use Shot Tracer, is huge news. Hi, I am Dave and welcome to 4 to 4 Golf. If you are new here, I make golf content out of Perth in Western Australia and sometimes further afield. The aim of the channel is to track my progress from shouting four to being a four handicap, something that I think we can all associate with. I make two videos a week and they could be course vlogs, product reviews, practice tips, or even just general golf talk. So if you like what you see, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell so you get notifications. It's all free. In the last couple of weeks, Shot Tracer announced that they were producing a macOS version of the popular product among us golf YouTubers. Now, anyone that has used it knows that trying to do it on a screen, whether that's an iPhone or Android, whatever, can be really, really cumbersome. So if you do have access to a Mac, this is a game changer. I'm gonna go through how it works and what seems to go well and maybe what doesn't. I'm gonna be going through all the stuff on my Mac, it's a Mac Mini 2014 edition, although it's a little bit later than that. Apple call it a 2014 edition. Originally, and I will give a big shout out to the Shot Tracer guys, I downloaded this, tried to get it to work, and it didn't. I got in touch with their support, and within a day, they'd released an update that had actually got it to support my Mac. So, thank you very much, guys. So, I'm gonna dive in, and uh, sorry, first of all, I've gotta start this screen recording. So let's just do that. Who remembers what the code control? Yeah, there it is. All right, so I'll do the entire screen and start recording. So basically the app is uh, downloadable from the Mac uh, OS, sorry, from the Mac App Store. So you can just head in there and grab it. If I open that up there, you would see that if I type for Shot Tracer. It's this Shot Tracer Pro that you're looking for. Um, I've obviously already got it downloaded, but you would click on that and then go through a couple of other screens. One where it's going to ask you whether you want to pay for it monthly or annually. Now, it isn't cheap, but from a time consuming or a time saving aspect, look. Jury's out on whether, whether it's worth it, but for me, in Australian dollars, it was $25 per month or a bit more than that per year. It was basically half price that. In US dollars, it was $14.99 a month or 90 US a year. So look, if you're, you have a YouTube channel where you're already earning money, then I'd say this is a no-brainer if you're using Shot Tracer. Um, if you're just starting out, but you just want to be able to produce better content, then you might consider doing it, which is what I'm doing. So once you've actually got the app installed, I will get rid of that screen and we will open up the Shot Tracer app, which is here somewhere. There we go, Shot Tracer Pro. It's really quite straightforward. There is a, a detailed video on the Shot Tracer channel as well, but I wanted to kind of give you like my feedback of how, how it functions and stuff like that. So the interface itself is pretty straightforward. The only other thing that you're gonna to need to make sure that you've done is make sure that you've got a folder ready to go for the exported file. So I've called this one Shot Tracer Exports. Yeah, I know, complicated. So even I can work it out. Um, but to be fair, you also can choose where they go as well when you do select uh, an export folder. So to get this going, all we do is we click import video. One thing I will add, videos do need to be stored on your Mac. They won't work straight out of the camera roll from what I can work out. If I'm wrong, happy to be corrected on that. So I've got already this um, screen here and uh, these are some files that, that I just dropped in here, actually some that I need to work on and, and put some shot tracer lines on. So I'm honestly not even sure where these are from. So um, yeah, why not? Uh, in fact, let's do that one. This is from a video earlier in the year, which you haven't checked out already, was one of the funniest rounds of golf I've had in a long time. Um, this is from Abu Dhabi National. 
and the reason I picked this is there's two tee shots in here. Now, what you will notice is it's, it thinks it's found several tee shots in here, but there are definitely only two tee shots. So I'm gonna just remove that one from the list and these other things. But basically, it, it is automatically recognizing where the shots are, which if you use the app and tried to use the multi-tracer feature or tried to do them from, from different ones, you'll know that that is a pain in the derriere to sort out. So these are now moving through. You can see you've got the you know 30%-ish on, on both of them. And these, Shot Tracer say, will produce a proper line, you know, like something that is ready to go, a perfect Shot Tracer line. Um, in a way, I hope they don't because I'd like to show you the manual feature of how they're doing it and we'll go from there. Shot Tracer Pro as well, the guys at the support desk have told me has to be shot using a tripod. You cannot put something through Shot Tracer Pro that was shot on anything else. So this first video has actually failed. So, but what I'll do is I'll go, um, just, I have had this, I've reported it to the guys. Um, um, sometimes the first one just, just stops at 41%. So, but this one has worked. And as you can see, that has traced a, what looks like a pretty good line for, for that shot tracer there. So um, what I'll do, you can still then change the, the output resolution so you can keep it as it was or change it to different resolutions. I don't know how you would change it up, but, but there you go. Um, export as uh, one video per shot or a single video. So if I wanted to actually condense these into one clip to then import into iMovie or Premiere Pro or Final Cut or whatever you're using, that would make a lot of sense, right? I can just output it um, that way, right? So for now, I'd stick with that. The line thickness, you know, they're all stuff that you can change within the app, the line color, fade in and fade out as well. They're quite good um, if you are trying to create that cleaner feel um, rather than just a harsh, there's a line, and then the line has disappeared. So those those are all uh, pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna export this one for now. All right, and just gonna chuck that into the, yeah, sure. I'll just chuck it into that folder for now, wherever it goes. And then once I've selected that folder, I hit trace and export, and it tells me, oh yeah, sorry, my fault, not the thing. So let's say this one looks like it's stopped. It hasn't moved any further than 42%, so I'm gonna take that out of there. To manually add one, right, it has already recognized that that is a shot, all right? So I'm gonna say accept on that and let's see if this time it goes through and actually picks it up correctly, which it's moving quite quickly now. I suppose it's only doing one at a time as well. I'm quite impressed with how quick it is as well. Um, yeah, anyone that does these shot trace lines, as soon as I say that, it stops. Um, anyone that's put work into putting shot tracer into a, a YouTube video knows that it is the most time consuming element of the whole thing. So that has actually looks like it's picked out this time. So, no, it hasn't. All right, so if it does this, we hit on the little cog, all right, and we go, and we then can select manually, right? So I'm literally, I'm pressing on the next frame here to get to when Nick actually hits this ball, which is getting closer now, right? So if I get to his first frame, which let's say impact was that one. What I do is I press on here, oh sorry, I press here to say set the impact frame. And then all I do, I press the mouse where the actual ball is. And then I can click next frame, I can click next frame or I can press the space bar and it'll move it to the next one. So then you see the mo the thing has moved on again, and I'll click there. Spacebar, click on it, spacebar, click on it. This might take a little while, so I'll probably just speed this bit up while I'm doing these. So 
So I've basically reached the point there where I can't see the ball anymore, so I'm pretty confident it's at the peak. Shot tracers say that you only need to put four in to do a line, um, but you know, obviously the more you do, the more accurate it's gonna be, and honestly that didn't take that long. So if I then, when I'm finished, I just go continue to set landing point, I press on that, and I click on the screen where the ball landed. Look, this was a little while ago, but I do remember that Nick was over that sort of way. No, maybe not that far over. It was a pretty good hit. Um, and then all I do is I hit create line. And then it's created my export or my, my shot tracer line ready to be exported. Now, I have selected those export folders. What I might do is I'll go, I'll put them into a single video because that will be interesting. Go uh, trace and export, that will go through its bits. While that is doing it, I'd have thought. If you haven't already, jump back to this video, my subscriber giveaway. All you need to do is be a subscriber to my channel, comment on that video, and also follow me on Instagram. I'll give you a little pass if you really don't do Instagram. And if you want a bonus entry, share it around on any other social media platforms as well because that will really help get the word out. We are within 10, as I record this video, of each of those. So we'll be getting drawn soon, so make sure you do not miss out on those amazing prizes. One of which I have on right now. Again, it's not this one. You'll get a much cleaner and newer one than this. Um, but yeah, this is what you'll get. That's done. So now it has created those lines so if I open up this now this should give me a full video now I don't know if this will pick up audio but it may not be great if it does because uh, we'd have a few beers by now but this now it hasn't done any of the standard cropping as you can see but what it has done is traced me a pretty good line Nick's not sure where that's gone because he's got the sun right in our eyes there but that has done pretty well going down there. And then, sorry about the view of my backside, I'm sure I would have edited that out of the full video. Um, yeah, this, this I suppose would be quite handy just to have this in the one, um, and then I still might do the same kind of level of editing that I would do just to, just to make sure that you're not just hanging around watching, but um, also point out that I'm hitting an iron and he hit a hybrid and uh, mine went just as far. So that is the Shot Tracer Pro Mac OS version. There is a Windows version coming, I understand, and they will be adding more and more features like the Map Tracer and the Ball Tracer and all of those, uh, Putt Tracer and all of those things into the Mac version as it moves. Look, in summary, it's not cheap, but if this is something that you put into your videos already, it will save you time, no doubt. How much you place, you know, how much you value your time is entirely up to you. Uh, uh, if it's worth 90 US dollars a year to uh, save yourself, I would say an hour or so a week, it might be. If you did enjoy the video, guys, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Go over and watch that other video as well so you can win some cool stuff. Ring the bell, get notifications, all that good stuff. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think if you're using this. Um, and also leave a comment if you are a channel out there and you're using this, let me know who you are because I'll come along and subscribe to you. See you later guys, stay safe.